Mentorship plays an important role in inspiring young girls and women to take up science. It helps in addressing gender stereotypes towards girls choosing science and taking up leadership roles. Young female scientists who are just starting out need professional support and guidance to succeed in the field of science, technology, engineering and mathematics. At the Indian Institute of Science in Bengaluru, Karnataka, Professor Atre Ghosh draws on her experience of teaching students coming from diverse backgrounds and admits that most girls don't have access to resources or the right guidance. She feels the scientific community has a responsibility to inspire young women in the field of science. I think mentorship is um, really important. Things like um, outreach activities in which uh, female scientists go into schools and uh, talk about their science to um, young students. I think those kinds of things are really important to get these young minds interested in science. Irrespective of their socio-economic background, girls deserve equal opportunity and access to mentorship to build a career in science. Here, we are at a maker's lab in New Delhi, powered by the non-profit Feminist Approach to Technology, an organization that aims to create awareness and enhance technical skills of young girls from marginalized and underserved communities. So, in my opinion, mentorship उतनी ही जरूरी है जितना हमें इन चीजों का एक्सेस होना जरूरी है बिकॉज़ मैंने जितना लड़की हर काम करके अनुभव किया है कि अगर उन्हें गाइडेंस या एक मेंटरशिप देने के लिए एक पर्सन उनके साथ नहीं होता है तो उनके भी जो वही घर से जो दबाव या हमारे दोस्तों का कुछ प्रभाव होता है कि गर्ल्स क्या कर सकती हैं वो बहुत हावी होता है उनके ऊपर तो अगर उन्हें कोई वो कहते हैं ना पाथ दिखाने वाला पर्सन नहीं होता वहां पे तो वो डिस्ट्रैक्शन बहुत होती है उनके में इन मुंबई टेकनिप एनर्जीज has a strong CSR program that focuses on providing quality education and guidance to girls through meaningful employee interaction. I think women professionals who have established their career, accomplished certain success in the STEM field, they should come out as a role model. Through volunteering program, through mentorship program, they can face-to-face -face interact with this school-going young girls, they can talk to young women engineers and encourage them, put up an inspiration. Let's also look at the Life of Science, a unique online platform of experiences of women and minorities in science collected on lab hopping journeys across India. A collective that also inspires women through diverse stories and career journeys of leading Indian female scientists. So when young girls in STEM look at the Life of Science platform and are able to see Indian women scientists who have been and are a part of the Indian science community, it makes it so much more of a possibility because you've seen people who made it and who are doing it. UNESCO's 2022 Women in Science report suggests that we must promote mentorships for women in science and strengthen professional networks to advance the status of women to leadership positions. Space entrepreneur Sushmita Mohanty emphasizes the importance of having that sense of community. I definitely think uh, collectives uh, and networks, you know, they amplify friendships, they amplify sisterhood, they amplify collaborations. It's a great way to discuss what kind of professional hurdles you might be facing or what kind of scientific hurdles you might be facing. So I think collectives are always welcome.